so I'm just here in the car. I got a raspberry smoothie from Lee's Coffee. I've never tried Lee's, but I always heard good things about them. So, and today it can actually eat red meat, so I am excited for that. I only eat red meat on Saturday and Sunday, which is the weekends or once a week. And I got a pastrami sandwich. I'll show you guys later. Yeah, I am legit scared to try this i really don't know what to do i never actually tanned before i haven't been like tan since like i was like eight years old i think so we'll see this is actually lee's sandwiches not lee's coffee so hey guys it's brianna so i am going to be tanning for the first time and i'm going to be using the body sands australian tan ultra dark and i'm probably going to sleep with it in the night and then wake up in the morning and film again to see how it turned out it says to leave it on for about six minutes just kidding. six hours i know that's a long time i try to look for the other one that is like only three hours i think or an hour um but i couldn't find it so i'm gonna be using this one and here we go it's called bronze tan i got it on amazon um so i just got out of the shower and i did um exfoliate and it just almost broke my tooth Okay, this is for an even streak-free tan. Ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated, and free of any moisture. So I already did that. And I've been looking at a couple of videos that said that when you tan, you're supposed to put like lotion on your hands, your feet, and your knees and elbows. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to be using the same lotion that I always use, the Love Beauty and Planet. Um, in the rose. I'm just putting it a little bit on my armpit, my hands. Awful. It's it's bizarre. So this is step two is to pump foam applicator firmly and apply body sand self tiny foam on sweeping motion to legs, arms, and in body. I was also gonna do my face too. I'll, I'll show you guys later how I'm going to do it. It smells like perfume. Like coconut. I don't know how much I'm supposed to do. Okay, you can... I like how you can like immediately see like the color difference. So you know where you're going to be applying. I also seen some tools on Amazon as well that you could probably get um, if you don't have anyone to help you with like the back side. Still smell it. I mean, the pet. It's not too strong though that I like want to like gag. So I guess that's good. So I'm just gonna alternate all the way up. Get my ears. One on this side. I just really hope it doesn't come out streaky. That's like my main concern. Get um, tan anyway in the summer, but since I haven't been out, I haven't been able to obviously get a tan because I haven't been in the sun. I'm like kind of wiping it off as I go so it doesn't look too harsh. weird thing it's doing here it's like i know this part right here i have like really dry spots and it's kind of like building up right there so i'm just gonna take this and slowly just wipe the excess off on my foot here i have to just go back in there and i mean you can already tell the, the difference here i mean between the color just finished um, doing everything. 
I'm just gonna go in and check if I missed any spots, which I guarantee I did. And after that, I'm gonna work on doing my face. I'm not gonna do all my face. I'm gonna kind of contour it with the, the self-tanner, so. wipe it off right here that's more of like a straight line yeah so i will be um giving you guys an update in the morning to see how it turns out and i'm probably just gonna be wearing some comfy clothes on in the night to go to sleep and i will get back to you in the morning also i just wanted to say that i know i look bloated right now but it's because i just ate so don't come after me please so I went ahead and just laid this towel down. I don't know if this product is gonna like go all over the blankets and stuff. So I just wanted to take a precaution and do this. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go to sleep, so. So this is the next day. It came out pretty good. I did miss some spots though. For some reason, it did do my arms darker than the rest of my body, as you can see in this video. This is the first time I rode my bike in weeks. I rode it for like 20 minutes, and I'm freaking dying. I also forgot to mention that I gave myself like stretch marks. I don't know if you guys can see that. As you can see, this is my tan after three days of washing my skin and it's kind of starting to wear off a little bit my legs are still fairly tan but I noticed when I have like like the parts of my skin that are dry it came off more so next time I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be putting like lotion on here and I'm gonna try to fix um, I don't know if you guys can see that my little stretch marks I made on my, my hands. Um, I think I just did it like this. And I didn't like fold them so that I can get the tan on the knuckles as well. So I'm definitely going to do that next time. And I'm probably just going to hit it one more time with the tan. So that I can get it where I want it to be. And yeah. Hey guys. So I'm going to be, it's me, so I'm going to be doing um, the tan one more time just for my own mind, but anyways I'm going to be doing it one more time because I'm probably going to take a picture and post it on Instagram so I need to look snatched. And tomorrow in the morning I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna let you guys know how it came out so stay tuned for that. I also forgot to mention that last time I tanned I left my palm of my hand full tan so this time I used gloves and it actually helped. You can see a huge difference between the color of my face and the actual tan. Okay guys, so this is how it looks in the outside. Um, I can't, you can't really see. So I hit it um, twice and I kind of like this, the way it turned out better this time. So this is the video before I tanned and then the other one is going to be a video after I tanned for the second time.